This video will demonstrate how to install sprockets on Rexnord mat top and tabletop chains. There are many instances where you may need to install, adjust, or replace your flat top sprockets. If you are working on a chain that is currently installed in your application, always follow your lockout tagout procedures before approaching the chain. To install your flat top sprockets, you will only need an Allen wrench. A rubber mallet may be helpful as well. If removal of the shaft is necessary, additional tools will be needed. Installation of any flat top sprocket can be done in three steps. Check the shaft drop measurement. Install and align sprockets on the shaft. Check alignment with a short section of chain. The term shaft drop refers to the positioning of the conveyor shaft. The correct shaft drop measurement is crucial to provide chain sprocket engagement. The horizontal C dimension is defined as the center line of the shaft measured to the end of the wear strip. The proper C dimension should be equal to the length of one pitch of chain. The vertical A dimension is defined as the center line of the shaft measured to the top of the wear strip. If either the A or C dimensions are off, they can cause premature wear and transfer issues. Proper shaft dimensions may be found in our engineering manual or by contacting application engineering. Once the shaft positioning has been determined, note the material and style of the sprocket. For a two-piece split sprocket, the shaft does not need to be altered in order to install the sprockets. Hold both halves on the shaft, ensuring the shaft's key and sprocket keyway fit correctly. Then tighten the cap screws with an Allen wrench. It is good to ensure that you are using the correct type of sprocket and sprocket material for the environment it will be exposed to. Rexnord sprockets are available in a number of material options. Rexnord's nylon split sprockets are good general use sprockets that are widely used throughout the industry. Rexnord also offers sprockets machined from nylon or UHMWPE for better abrasion and chemical resistance. Rexnord's cast iron or stainless steel sprockets offer the highest abrasion and chemical resistant qualities for the most extreme environments. Once your sprocket is on the shaft, it is important to check the alignment. Tabletop sprockets should be centered between the wear strip guide clearance. Afterwards, use a short section of chain to ensure proper alignment, feeling for a smooth transition without the chain catching or scraping on the wear strips or sprocket. Once the sprocket has been positioned correctly, lock it down by tightening the set screw over the key. For mat top sprockets, they should be installed so the sticker side is facing the same way on all sprockets. Also, check that each sprocket's timing mark aligns with the other corresponding sprocket's timing marks. For wide mat top chains and square shaft applications, the center sprockets should be locked into place by set screw or set collar. The rest of the sprockets should be allowed to float axially to account for possible thermal expansion of the mat top chain. After installation and alignment is complete, run a small section of chain over the sprockets and shaft to ensure that the pockets align correctly. Once the sprocket has been positioned correctly, lock it down by tightening the set screw. If you notice your chains exhibit any of the following performance issues, your sprockets may be installed incorrectly. Chain slash sprocket engagement issues, chain tracking issues, product transfer issues, premature wear of sprocket or the chain. If you notice these issues, please contact your Rexnord account executive or application engineering immediately. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or contact Flattop Application Engineering.